The story is hidden, Brickling fields of Kerala. The Brickling industry in South Asia is very vast with approximately 152.700 thousand active cleans across the region. These kilns employ over 16 million people and half a million animals to make more than one-fifth, to be precise, 31% of the world's bricks. It is one of the most challenging work environments for people and animals alike, which is why it is often referred to as an exploitative industry. Donkeys, mules and horses are used in traditional brick making factories in India, Pakistan, Nepal and Afghanistan. It is notoriously a large hidden industry, often unorganized and unregulated, where animals and humans endure very hard, harsh working conditions. In traditional kilns, bricks are made by hand and then transported by animals within the vicinity and by trucks to the external locations of the construction sites. The northern states of India mostly depend donkeys mules and horses cars like the neighboring countries Pakistan, Nepal and Afghanistan. The bricklings are also extremely polluting air and water which is in turn causes infection and respiratory diseases in humans and animals. Humans had started using bricks for building purpose since thousands of years. Bricks date back to 7000 BC which makes them one of the oldest known building materials. They were discovered in the southern Turkey at the site of an ancient settlement around the city of Jericho. The bricks are made in areas with warm climate with the clay and then dried in the sun for hardening. In ancient times, the bricks were made of clay mixed with straw reinforcing its hold. The evidence of this can be seen at the ruins of Harappa and Mohenjo-daro. The great, greatest breakthrough came with the invention of the fire brick in about 3500 BC. From that moment on, 
it opened a new window that the bricks could be made without the heat of the sun and soon became popular even in cooler climates as well. From the late 19th and early 20th centuries, the tile industry in Kerala started flourishing as the roofing of the Kerala traditional houses were made of clay tiles and the walls were made of laterite stones, commonly those times. During the third quarter of the 20th century, the bricklings of Kerala started emerging due to the availability of laterite stones started diminishing. Soon, it grew to a promising industry and opened a new gate of employment for thousands of laborers. In central Kerala, a major part of population was depending on this industry, which continued its journey for over half a century in its respective area. The traditional brick manufacturing needs considerable land area and a good topsoil. The land area near the clean is subjected to high temperature, making it unfit for the use of agricultural activities after being abandoned. The brick manufacturing uses thousands of tons of log or biomass fuel as the, the energy use is 30 to 35 percent of the production cost. Laterite stone was one of the widely, widely used building materials during the first half of the 20th century in Kerala. It is a red or brown colored sedimentary rock and was very cost effective when compared to bricks. Laterite stones have the capability of retaining coolness inside the walls thereby creating more comfortable interiors during summer. During the early fourth quarter of the 20th century, the re revolution in the Kerala construction area with the concrete roofing that replaced the century-old traditional tiled roofing of Kerala houses and badly affected the Kerala tile industry as a whole. But the bricks industry could survive few more decades. During late 20th century, restrictions on clay mining came into effect, which was a big blow from back to the staggering Thailand brick industries alike. Thousands of people who were depending these industries directly or indirectly suffered a beyond repair 
and by the beginning of the 21st century, these industries were almost vanished from the central Kerala and hollow and solid cement bricks to cover the place of red, red bricks. The tiles and brick clays are usually of low grade and red burning There are about 400 tile factories and about 5,000 brick limbs still spread across Kerala that manufactured tiles and bricks. The vast resources of alluvial clays in the paddy fields and valley field areas were used by this industry. The clay availability for the tile manufacturing were mostly found in the districts of Trishur, Horikot, Ernagulam, Trivandrum, Kannur and Palakkad. The manufacturing units were primarily concentrated in central districts of Kerala like Trishur and Ernagulam. The temporary brick lanes were removed and the tile factories were closed which were once the center of attention filled with workers. The ruins now look high and remain as a silent witness of time.